Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So on today's video we are going to talk about a commander that was uh, awakened recently, about uh, two weeks ago, and this is uh, none other than uh, Lareo. Lareo is going to be an infantry commander that is going to be very versatile in terms of uh, infantry formations, but uh, in reality after his awakening he is focused truly in the uh, infantry bleed formation but of course he could be also used in other formations as well so for now we're going to talk about how to get his metals uh, Lareo is very old commander that was added in the recruitment pass uh, even before we had the two different passes uh, we only had the one recruitment pass I think it's like almost two years ago so we only had the hero decree where you could get his medals from there but now you can get his medals from the shop of the recruitment pass uh, as well so as I said it's going to be a male infantry commander with his focus on infantry attack and uh, lowering the stats of the enemy player so first of all he's going to give you a 30% increase in infantry attack on gold quality, a 15% spearman health reduction, and a 10% enemy total defense reduction. So, as you're going to see, uh, he's going to be an infantry uh, commander, but he's also going to be a nice debuffer, especially if you're against the uh, spearman. The enemy spearman health reduction with the additional. Uh, enemy total defense reduction is going to be a good um, stat to have in your formation. So moving on his awakening, his awakening for his first three tiers is going to be uh, like almost every other commander to have. So on level 10 and the first star he is going to have a 20% increase in his active army skill and 5 levels increase in his max level. On the second star and the 20th level of awakening he is going to have a quality evolution of a friendship increase by 1 star and we are going to talk about his tavern stats in a few. A cooldown reduction by 2 seconds on his active army skill and another 5 levels on max commander level going up to a total of 70. Uh, levels for this commander. So here we are in the tavern looking for uh, Lareo. His base attributes are going to be combat rate and finance. Finance is going to be the free gold and combat rate is going to be the total stats uh, increase compared of course with the enemy stats as well. So as you're going to see here the initial uh, combat rate is going to be three stars and three uh, four stars excuse me and three stars for finance but with the uh, friendship increase by one star on the two star awakening is gonna go up to four stars on finance and five stars on awaken on combat rate which is in my eyes really good and very very strong he's going to take food in order to increase his level uh, faster and uh, I think that upgrading Lara at least to two stars for the bonus combat rate is going to be a great addition to your account. Uh, moving on, his level 30 and his third awakening star, you're going to have the enhanced specialization perk, which is going to be a total increase in the passive stats of the commander by uh, 1.6 times or 60%. Uh, it's the same thing. Another uh, 40% increase in the active army skill of the commander and another 5 uh, maximum levels on his uh, stats. So if we add the 60% from the enhanced specialization and the third uh, star of his awakening, his infantry attack bonus is gonna go up to 48. The enemy spearman reduction health is going to go up to 24% and the enemy army total defense reduction is going to go up to 60%. So it's going to be a really nice boost 
in the overall stats of uh, this commander of Lareo, of the stats that he is actually adding to your troops. And uh, last but not least, on the level 40 and the 4 star awakening, we are going to get an additional 18% enemy spearman health reduction, 18% infantry attack and enemy total defense reduction by another 19%. So all in all great addition uh, on his stats again from his max uh, level on his awakening. But of course his awakening does not stop there. So we have the golden infantry 4 four star ability which is going to be uh, each time uh, one of the infantry squares attack 4 times with normal attacks. The health of the square will increase by 5% and it will have a probability of causing the next normal attack to be a critical hit with a coefficient of 120%. Another 3 seconds on his active arm skill bringing the total cooldown rate decrease to 5 seconds and 5 more levels going up to level 80 for the max commander level. So going back to his uh, golden infantry uh, four star ability uh, as we said normal attacks and critical uh, strikes are going to be the two uh, key words for his uh, formation so of course if you pair uh, Lare with Sinara and her four star ability that causes you to have a probability to do uh, more normal attacks this is going to be a great uh, addition to his 4 star ability uh, so you're gonna trigger faster than normal attacks and increase your total health for this uh, particular square and also have uh, more chances to cause uh, critical strikes but of course critical strikes go hand in hand with bleed as we said so if you remember uh, rare 4 star ability it says that every time uh, your formation is doing a critical hit you are going to inflict bleed. So again here uh, the force and ability of Lareo is going to command to combine uh, two uh, special effects from two different commanders Rea and Sinara and if you pair him with both of those commanders his damage output is going to be really good especially if you consider that Raleo, uh, Lareo is not like a very expensive commander and he's almost a free to play commander for everybody so here we are on the on the battle report with the infantry formation that uh, i have for bleed uh, it's going to consist from uh, john snow rea sinara uh, lareo and lats so as you're going to see here on the battle report we have attack that triggered uh, ally Lareo. This is a text error, I think. Uh, Battle Soul Awakening Skill Golden Infantry, and the ally is going to increase vitality by 5%. So if we continue, it's going to see here again. It's going to trigger once again. It's going to trigger a third time. And it's going to trigger four and five times. And after that, as we said, after the fourth time we are going to have a chance to deal a critical hit so here we are going to have the attack that trigger a critical hit dealing uh, enemy 120% uh, damage and since as we said we have a critical hit uh, Rhea is going to trigger her 4 star ability daughter of the north inflicting bleed to the enemy lineup and again after a few seconds another attack lands with uh, the A1 lineup dealing another 120% increase uh, damage and here we're going to have again Rhea uh, using her 4 star ability to inflict bleed and as the battle continues this is going to be a very usual thing that you're going to see again critical hit with Rhea using her 4 star ability and as you're going to see if you go below the bleed actually uh, it's going to do some damage from time to time so here 2000 troops 2000 troops 4000 troops again 2000 troops so it's something that continuously uh, is doing damage and with the help of Lareo, Sinara and Rea making a very nice uh, trio of uh, formation you're going to have uh, more and more triggers of critical hit 
and also keeping your lineups healthy having more and more vitality from the Lareo four star ability so in my eyes Lareo is going to be a very good addition to the infantry bleed formation even if some people say that you cannot run bleed with free to play commanders uh, Lareo is going to be one of the commanders that's going to be an exception um, I think I'm going to try to do a comparison with, between Lareo and Kevin one day uh, but this is going to take a lot of data and a lot of reports to have in order to make a final decision if having uh, Lareo or Kevin uh, is going to be better uh, Kevin is going to be used mostly in the bleed formation or at least it used to be since uh, you are not going to have an easy fifth commander option for this formation but now that we have Lareo and his uh, synergy with uh, Sinara and Rhea I think he's going to be a great addition to the infantry bleed formation that many people are starting to use nowadays so I think that uh, pretty much concludes his uh, battle reports analysis as I said he's uh, very strong and he is a great addition to the whole uh, bleed formation so that pretty much concludes the uh, whole uh, look into Lareo a great commander in my opinion and with some uh, great uh, addition to the bleed formation synergy that we have in the game so thanks for watching guys and I will see you on the next one. I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire. Heart on fire. Set my heart afire.